what can actors practically do to to actually obtain that mindset? What, you know, how, where does it come from? It's really a choice we make, yeah. Uh, and, and 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 to reduce it to a very simple thing, uh, is is a is a belief you choose uh, to have, and, and that is really within our capability. Uh, actually, for, for certain, we are, we are people with perseverance. So, because all of us persevere to get our qualification, uh, because it's a long and difficult one. Yeah, so we have perseverance. The, the next important thing is that for us to be willing to have lifelong learning, and that is about it, you know, lifelong learning. And, and then you can go to the next level, what do you learn, right? So the fact is that if you have lifelong learning uh, uh, and be open to learn an extra program, uh, an, an adjacent domain, a language, uh, a skill, uh, it, it, it is highly achievable, highly achievable. And, and it's also very motivating. Uh, I, I knew when I qualified in 1984, when I finished all my exams, I was uh, quite confident I can get a job. But I think most people would agree that any qualification you have, regardless of whether it's an entry or not, those skill sets will need to be modernized. So IFOA is going to modernize our, not syllabus, actually our lifelong learning proposition so that our members firstly have that mindset, but also acquire skills that are really relevant, but skills adjacent to it, and also to be multidisciplinary. Yeah? So what are the practical things? I actually have written quite a bit on that uh, because students often ask me uh, uh, when I speak to people in a university and I'll give them, I, I publish it in, in the form of 61 tips. Many, many of that could be learned and, and because knowledge is really quite democratized, you can learn a lot of programs in Coursera and there, there could be more technical programs. You can learn about things which interest you, uh, whether it's anthropology or psychology, right? Uh, short courses, long courses. You can also learn skills like language uh, or even how to dictate, yeah? I'll give you a good example, uh, which I picked up in the last three months, yeah? I, I couldn't type as quickly as most people who learn typing. QWERTY, you, you need to type the keyboard. And, and that is a handicap. That is a handicap because then you are wasting, you are not spending your time. But but then a disadvantage can become an advantage because I learned how to dictate uh, on Word document and the dictation facility has now very impressive. It's very and you can dictate much quicker than you can type. So a disadvantage has become an advantage. So you can leapfrog. So do not uh, be be con too concerned, right? You can actually leapfrog. Yeah. Uh, so actually. Uh, say for instance, uh, China, uh, the credit card industry was not very well developed. Uh, neither was camera by firm, Kodak firm was not very well. So they live from. So now no one uses credit card in, uh, in China unless you are a, a foreigner in a nice hotel. Most people use their QR codes uh, or their Huawei phone uh, to do even the smallest of transactions. They have, and, and payment industry in China is 10 times bigger than the US uh, uh, cashless payment is bigger. Uh, so that's how things happen. So, so as a practical advice, you've got skills to learn, uh, languages to learn, uh, domains to learn. Yeah? Uh, so so I, I think, but in a practical sense, if I were alive actually, I would, I would learn things adjacent uh, to what, the, what you're trying to solve. A lot of problems on savings and investments has to go to, with the behavioral finance and behavioral economics. It's not just about compound interest. It's how you encourage people to save. Yeah. So, so there are a lot of adjacent things we could learn. Uh, if I were be, if I'm a general insurance person, I would be curious about drones. Because drones is driving assessment of damages, how they collect data and how you price, right? Uh, and, and all that. And, and there are many good books uh, about all these subjects. One good book begets another. You can follow people on Twitter, can follow people on uh, Facebook or LinkedIn. Uh, and, 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 and as long as you have a certain discipline, the curation of such knowledge uh, will be very individual. Uh, our call is for individuals to, to have that mindset. But institutionally, I, I think the profession as a whole has 
uh, to look forward rather than look backwards because digital is about the, the future. And as an institution, IBOA likewise have to do that. Uh, and, I, and I think that that is a challenge which society has to embrace, right? Uh, but I like to think that our profession could, could do this well. Yeah? So, so I'm hopeful in this regard. But it's not just about skill set, it's the mindset because when you give the person or encourage their mindset, the skill set follows automatically.